Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to all of you who might be finding this channel for the first time. In today's video I have a fun new house tour to share with you, but I'm also going to be sharing my everything pumpkin haul from Trader Joe's. I'm going to be doing a little cooking, a little cleaning, and I am super excited to be putting together a very special gift basket because while we're here in Georgia, we're going to be visiting some dear friends of ours that we haven't seen in person for almost two years. Now before I get started, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you'd like to see more day in the life type videos in the future. And I would love it if you would hit that red subscribe button. That way you can become part of our Fudge family. Okay guys, now first some backstory. Over a year ago, my family and I moved from California to Florida and we actually really like it. We really like our home. We like the changes that we've made to make it our own. And we especially like being so close to Disney World. But I have to say we haven't been huge fans of the extreme weather and humidity of Florida. And I'm also not a huge fan of the amount of traffic in and around Orlando. So this area of Georgia that we're looking in is a lot quieter, it's a lot more mountainous, and it's a lot less crowded. Now yesterday we actually decided to take a last minute trip up here to Georgia, and that's because we found a house that's for sale that's also an Airbnb rental. So to be able to actually stay in the house, to figure out if we wanna buy it or not, we thought would be a really interesting, a fun idea. So now let me take you on a little bit of a house tour. First of all, check out this setting, you guys. So many beautiful trees. It's like hidden in a forest almost. Of course, I am a huge fan of this nice large deck with the rocking chairs. And then of course, there's the entryway. I just love how nice and open it is and how tall it is. And one of the things that kind of made me interested in this house was the kitchen. It's kind of a unique layout, almost like an L shape, but I love that the cabinets go all the way to the ceiling. I love this kind of more industrial looking stove and oven with the range hood. There seems to be a lot of storage. And then the island looks like it has a lot of good space for making lunches and other recipes. This house has a huge dining room and a family room and then three other levels with five bedrooms all together. So it's pretty big. And the interesting thing about this house is that it's actually being sold fully furnished, which could be a good thing if you like the furniture, but not so good if it's not really your style. Now, so far we are really liking this house. I love the location, but I do think it's a little bit bigger than we actually need. So we're not quite decided yet. Hey guys, so it's actually the next day now. This morning when we woke up, the weather was nice and cool and it was so quiet outside, which is a huge difference from what we're used to in Florida. This morning I got up nice and early so I could get myself ready for the day and check it out you guys. This is what I consider light packing. I've already got all of my makeup on so I'm going to go ahead and put that all away. I just love this little travel makeup case. It has just enough space for everything that I need and then for my hair I really just bring my blow dryer, my round brush, and my curling iron. So I'm going to go ahead and put those all away too. And while I've been getting ready, the kids have been getting themselves breakfast and I definitely need to clean up after them. Now since this was kind of a last minute trip, I just grabbed some things from the house we already had. So we brought a bag of the kids' favorite cereal. We got some shelf stable milk. I also brought some breakfast shakes lots of yogurts. Then I also grabbed a bag of the apple strudel bread, which is so good. And then I got some of the sliced brioche with chocolate chips. The kids love these. And I also brought a little bit of spreadable butter to go along with it. So it was a very quick and easy breakfast. It's kind of hard to see, but there are quite a few crumbs left over from breakfast. And unfortunately, this Airbnb doesn't include any multi-surface cleaner or anything like that. And I didn't bring any with me. So to wipe down these counters, I'm just using a little bit of dish soap and water. Mm -hmm. 
And then before I move on to the rest of my day, I definitely need to take care of the dishes and the sink. Last night we ended up getting here so late that I just cooked dinner, but I didn't actually clean up everything after. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all of these dishes into the dishwasher, which is super nice to have in an Airbnb, but I'm not gonna run this dishwasher until after dinner since it's not really full right now. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and wash up this sink. I'm not gonna scrub it or anything like that at this point. I just want to get all of these crumbs out of here. Now, even though we are at a different house, I'm still having the kids do pretty much everything in their normal morning routine. So they are going to be helping to make their beds. And you guys, even though this house has enough beds for everyone, the girls did decide to go ahead and share one bed and the boys shared another bed. Sometimes staying in a new house can be kind of scary for little kids. So it works really nice that they can kind of buddy up together. So after they make their beds, they're gonna go ahead and get themselves dressed. And you guys, this is where things get a little bit different too, because here in Georgia, it's actually chilly enough for jackets. It has been so hot at home in Florida that we haven't needed jackets for a long time. So this is definitely different for us. And then once everyone is nice and dressed, it's time to go downstairs so they can get their teeth brushed and their hair brushed. And you guys, since we have a very special lunch date later today, I did go ahead and help both of my girls with some special occasion hairstyles. Before we can go meet up with our friends, the kids have to get their schoolwork done. As a lot of you guys probably already know, we are homeschooling this year. And right now the kids are using the Power Homeschool Curriculum and Acellus Academy. So far this has been working really well for us because the kids can go at their own pace, it's easy to travel with, and the curriculum includes lots of really engaging teacher-led videos that my kids actually enjoy. Now, since it was about an eight-hour drive yesterday from Florida to Georgia, the kids were able to get quite ahead on their assignments for the week. They did a lot of school while we were driving. So while the kids are doing that, I have a few things to work on too, including putting together a gift basket for my friend Fallon. Now, if you guys aren't already familiar, my friend Fallon also has a YouTube channel called Moss Family TV, and I actually met her through YouTube about four years ago, and we quickly became friends outside of YouTube. And over the years, we've had a few opportunities to visit them in person. Now, over on their channel, they share lots of recipes, grocery hauls, and really heartwarming videos. So definitely go check out their channel. I will link it down below. Okay, so from Trader Joe's, I picked up the maple flavored sea salt kettle corn. Now I've tried this and it is really good. I also got the pumpkin spice pretzel slims. I also got some pumpkin spice herbal tea bags. Check out this super cute pasta. Looks like little pumpkins. I picked up some pumpkin body butter. This is so thick and creamy. Back over here, I got the pumpkin spice cereal bars. And you can't forget about the actual pumpkin spice. Trader Joe's sells this huge bottle for just $1.99, so I think that's a really good deal. I also got these beautiful mums. This one has three different colors in one, which I love. And I also like that it's so small and cute. I got a box of the petite pumpkin spice cookies. So these are a lot like circus cookies, you know, the ones with the sprinkles, but this is the fall version. I got the salted caramel flavored hot cocoa. That sounds so good. I got the pumpkin O's, which are basically like pumpkin spice Cheerios. And then I also got the pumpkin brioche twist, which I've had before and it's really good. It's my goal to put as many of these things in here as I can, but it's looking pretty full already. Let me show you what I've got so far. First, I got this really cute uh, tote, this little basket thing at Aldi. I picked up two sets of kitchen towels. This one has a little truck on it. It says, happy fall, y'all. There's also a plaid. This one has leaves as well. Also from Aldi, I picked up this really beautiful sort of cranberry cup 
This is nice and insulated and I love the color. I also got this pumpkin candle in this really pretty jar. And then it's kind of random, but I also got the apple strudel bread. I know Fallon loves uh, different kinds of swirl bread, so I think she's gonna like this one. And then all of these things came from the Target dollar spot. Back over here, I have one of the tiered trays. I'm pretty sure Fallon doesn't have any tiered trays yet, so this might be her first one, I'm not sure, but it's just a nice small one. I also got the Hello Fall sign, a cute little pumpkin, and the fall is my favorite sign. And then last but not least, a teacher planner, because I know she can use this. And then I'm also bringing presents. I don't think we're gonna be able to come back up here around Christmas unless we end up moving, I don't know. But I decided to bring some toys for the kids as well since several of them have birthdays this month. For her two older boys, I got these really fun hover stars. These came from Costco and these are a lot of fun. For Jonah, who just turned eight, I got this really cool build your own race car kit. It kind of reminds me of a Pinewood Derby car. He's a very creative kid, so I think he's gonna like that. For Audra, who is the only girl of the family, I got this really cute mermaid baking kit. So this comes with a big cake pan, muffin pan, and all the little accessories to bake up some cute treats. And then for the baby, who's gonna be turning one, I got this pack of toys. These are like classic little kid toys, and I'm hoping that this one won't be a problem. So now I quickly need to pack all this stuff up and then go pick up lunch. I was able to fit everything except for the apple strudel bread, so I'm just gonna give it to her. We're here, you guys. I'm so excited. Hello there. Say hey. Hi. Oh You're my so goodness. Excited. Look at this <gasps> baby. Say hey. Oh, hi. Can you wait. He's smiling. I got you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. We spent the afternoon sharing a lunch playing with slime, and we got to play with the cutest baby. We made cookies, I gave her her gift basket. We just had an awesome time. So now we are back at the Airbnb and it's already seven o'clock. We had so much fun at the Mosses and I'm really liking the idea that if we lived in Georgia, we'd be able to visit them more often. So you guys, for dinner, I didn't want to get takeout again today but I knew I needed something that would be quick and easy to make and that I could make with limited ingredients since we're not at home. So I stopped into a grocery store called Ingles and I decided to go with fajitas. For this, I picked up some pre-cut fajita meat and because I don't have any spices with me, I went ahead and picked up this fajita seasoning packet. I've never tried this before, but it looks interesting. I also picked up this onion and pepper mix. It's already cut up and ready to go. I got some fajita tortillas, some shredded cheese, some sour cream, and then I also got this bag of fresh tortilla chips. They make these right in the store, so I think they should be good. To go along with the chips, I also got some guacamole, some salsa, and some queso. And I like that these all come in little containers with lids, so if we have any leftovers, I can just put them back in here. And then for my kids who refuse to eat fajitas, I did go ahead and get some already prepared mac and cheese because they love mac and cheese. And after dinner, we're hoping to do popcorn and a movie. So I did go ahead and pick up this bag of popcorn and it was just $1. Now you guys, cooking in an Airbnb can kind of be a challenge sometimes because you don't have everything that you would normally have at home. So now that these are a little bit softened, I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of the pan. And then just to make sure that my meat doesn't stick, I'll add a little bit more butter in here. And then I know this looks like I'm crowding the pan and I kind of am because this pan is kind of small and I'm really not gonna worry too much about it because I need to get this dinner cooked quickly. It's getting late. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cook this according to the directions on this fajita seasoning packet. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
And you guys, we are ending the night with some cozy blankets, some popcorn, and one of our favorite movies that is perfect for fall. Thanks for watching. Good night.